one. Let's go. All right, so we're talking about the solar oven response sheet. You guys, yours is going to be due Monday, 125. So my A-Day students, yours is due on the 25th. My B-Day students, yours is due Friday, the 22nd. And then this is found in Schoology. The submit day on Schoology is the 20th because that's the day it was initially assigned for my B-Day students. Does that make sense? If you look on PowerSchool, if you look on PowerSchool, all the assignments are listed on PowerSchool. The date is by the date you can find them in Schoology. So it makes it easy to, to cross-reference. This assignment is 10 points total. And it's a mastery assignment. You get two points for part A, which we're doing together. So everyone should at least get a minimum of a 20 points. And part B is eight points. And I'll go into how those points get divided when we finish the first part, okay? All right. So the first part, we're drawing and labeling the diagram of how the solar oven is working. We're including all of the following labels. This drawing is going to outline your essay. So whatever I write, you write, because it's gonna tell you exactly how to be successful on that essay. All right, so I've got my son. My son. And I've got my solar oven. Yes. I'm, I'm doing that because I have to draw something on the inside of the box. The Rays coming from the sun represents what kind of heat transfer? Ava. Radiation. Radiation. Very good. So I'm going to draw. And label. And in order to better help me on my essay, I'm going to define it underneath. Heat waves from the sun, not touching. or heat waves from the sun would be the example of how it's used, right? But you're also gonna define it separately using notes that you've already taken. You've been working on heat transfer since before Christmas break. So you have notes, a foldable that we did, you have a reading, you have the homework that we did and your brochures, um, which I have and if you want back, you can give, I can give them back to you. All right, I'm putting black paper on the, on the inside of the box. Why would I put black paper on the inside of the box? Alex? Okay, but why black paper? Okay, so black paper absorbs heat. And it will be touching my food. I'm using it as a plate. The graham cracker will, will sit on the black paper. I'm going to have two separate graham crackers, one with the marshmallow on it, one with the chocolate on it. OK? Let me be clear. Marshmallows don't melt in the sun. If you ever expose them to heat, most of the time they expand what they're made out of. I don't know if you've ever put a peep in a microwave. Um, it is very enjoyable as a child, but as an adult, it was awful to clean up, so don't do that to your kids. Um, I never got peeps again in my Easter basket, ever. Um, but they will get, they might, like, if, you know, if, if they're sitting in the sun for a long time, they might get kind of like, 
slimy, sticky, but they're not gonna melt like chocolate will. So the black paper absorbs heat and touches my food. And Alex said it was what kind of heat transfer? Perfect. Using conduction. So what this picture is, sh is showing is explaining how they're used in the solar oven. This is the explaining part. You need to define it separately, right? Then I have plastic wrap on the top of my box, the plastic wrap, right? What does the plastic wrap do? What does it do, Samantha? It traps heat much like what? What does it trap heat like? What in the atmosphere specifically? What did we learn about that was in your brochures? The greenhouse gas is perfect. So All right, so plastic wrap traps heat like greenhouse gases. So you can talk about how the layers of the plastic wrap represents all the greenhouse gases keeping the heat inside the box, right? But define what the greenhouse effect and greenhouse gases are. And then last but not least, how do you think convection works inside this oven? How do you think convection works, Trey? Yeah, so, and when we say swirls around, we're gonna use our scientific word currents, right? Because the heat can't escape, because it can't get out. When it rises, it's actually colder outside, right? This is actually why we do it in January. It's colder outside, so when it gets to the top, it starts to kind of cool off. And what happens to it when it cools off? It drops, it's gonna sink, and it's gonna continue to circulate inside the oven, right? So, um, Remember, when you're defining convection, you want to talk about the hot rise and cold sinking, right? So we're going to say currents. And if you need to remember what that looks like, you can always draw a picture for yourself. I'm drawing one in the box as well. So currents circulate. Inside. using convection, and I need you to elaborate on that. Tell me what that means. The hot air rises, it's trapped. So it sinks back down because it gets colder as it's rising because it, it meets, tries to escape, right? And it's colder outside than it is on the inside of the box. So you've got two points for just for doing this. And then here is your explanation of how it's used in the box, right? But you need to elaborate, and elaborate on it a little bit more because it's your project. You need to know how it works, right? But remember, this is worth eight points. So how do I get my remaining four points? Define each one, right? So you need get you get one point for defining, one point for explaining, and you've got four topics, right? One, two, three, four. So one point for explaining, one for defining convection or conduction. One point, one point convection. One point, one point radiation. Remember, you should have about an, an intro, intro, 
which could just be two or three sentences, like explain what you did. You should have four body paragraphs. One for each form, right? So conduction. And this is where you're defining and explaining. So in these four body paragraphs, you're defining and explaining. Conduction. Conduction. Radiation. The greenhouse effect. And then this is where your points are coming from, y'all, is this section. We just know essays are nice when they're when you get some background information, right? And then they're nice when they are wrapped up with a pretty little bow and just say, you know, solar ovens use multiple forms of heat transfer to cook food. Blah, 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 blah. Right, just restate your intro or conclusion. So, Does everybody understand what you're expected to do for this essay? All right, do it right the first time so that you don't have to spend the time doing it again. Because you only get one, you'll, you get one shot at redoing it if you need to. And I grade the retakes harder. So no point in, in investing twice as much time when you could just do it right the first time. Especially because you know exactly what to do. If you forget, watch the video. It'll be on my YouTube channel at the end of the day. Solid? Liquid. All right. 